What's up guys, Philip here, and I am back in the garage to take you guys along with me for a few workouts that I've completed during this deload week, starting with this squat workout. This was on Thursday, yesterday, and um, I planned on just working up to one working set and then ending the workout, um, thereby really decreasing the volume um, by means of giving myself a rest. So working up 315, moving well, and I'm really working on wrenching down my lats because during the 455 for two I did last Sunday, I noticed myself drifting forward. And I kind of wondered if it was because I was being lackadaisical with my back tightness. So I really worked on it here and they did feel more comfortable. I didn't feel as much drifting forward as I did with those squats. And this is 405 for five paused. That is a PR. These felt great. I felt like my legs were under me and I felt like my form was very, very good. Now, obviously there are still things to improve. I'm still trying to figure out how to keep from, you know, having that diagonal bar path um, and if that's something I can correct, but overall very happy with that set. Now, after that, I ended that workout. Moving on to this workout that I just completed, having a little fun on a pressing day and I decided to see what um, the NFL combine would be like if I did the bench press test. So obviously it would be in a little bit different environment than my garage, but 225 just wanted to see what I could do it for. And keep in mind, I do not train high reps. I train very low reps, high intensity. If I trained this more, I would get more reps, but was still happy with the showing. Um, I got at least 20, I'll put it that way, actually 21, and then I followed up this set with another set of 21 right after, so two sets of 21 reps with 225 pounds, figured that was enough volume for a deload <laughs> pressing day for bench press, so after that I went ahead and jumped on these um, banded dips, and you can see my rack is going through the torquelator. Um, it is shaking quite a bit, but I really like these banded dips. They really work well um, for making you press explosively and taking some of that load off of the bottom of the rep. So they just feel really good, but this green band, it was a little bit too much for me. I ended up getting six reps and it said, settle down little man, go back down to your normal band. So did another set of the purple band, then some push-ups and some abs, but called it there. Just wanted to take you guys along with me for these two sessions. I appreciate you guys watching and I, as always, will catch you on the next one.